It's a place where nature enthusiasts come together. St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge is home to hundreds of different types of animals, including monarch butterflies. But these butterflies are in danger. ABC 27's Dave Vogan talked to some members of the refuge about what's killing the monarchs and what we can do to protect them. <laughs> Walking down these trails at St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge, you'll find one insect taking flight. It's amazing how far they go. Genevieve Carroll brought her daughter and son to the refuge, watching monarch butterflies flutter around from weed to weed. Oh, you know, you think just such a tiny animal is not going to make it out of yeah. even this, you know, the lighthouse, let alone. They're taking a break before flying off to Mexico for the winter. The only butterfly that migrates is hanging on for its life. It's several different reasons. Lori Nicholson is an instructional system specialist with the St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge. She says weather plays a major role in helping or hurting monarchs. Whether it's dry or too wet, it's also loss of habitat, it's pesticides. The loss of weeds and milkweed, a plant on which monarchs lay their eggs, is also getting mowed over. It's something David Moody has also noticed in the countryside. Uh, we see people wanting cleared off, you know, walkable spaces, but yet those flowers that grow there have their purpose. According to Xerces Society for Invertebrate Conservation, the monarch butterfly population has declined by more than 80 percent within the past few decades. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service even considering adding America's most beloved butterfly to the endangered species list. So what can we do to help these monarch butterflies? Definitely plant native pollinating plants in their yards and around their homes and also the native milkweeds. A little help that could make a huge difference in saving a butterfly from becoming extinct. In St. Mark's, Dave Vogan, ABC 27. And we are entering peak migration season for monarch butterflies here in the Big Bend. St. Mark's will be filled with them within the next couple of weeks. The Wildlife Refuge invites everyone to come down and take a few pictures.